Patsy Ming, an advocate for women and children. In the 1940s, many girls were not allowed to play sports, or were limited in sports. Patsy Ming could not play basketball full court. Patsy Ming was rejected from acceptance into medical school over a dozen times. Ming believed it was gender discrimination. She was not accepted initially into law school. She believed it was because she was married. In the 1960s, public education was free, but for kids in preschool, their parents would have to pay the full tuition. It was a problem for some parents to send their kids to school. Women and children have more opportunities now because of Patsy Mink. She was a dedicated leader of her time. She introduced and wrote laws that protected the rights of women and children. Among these laws were the Title IX, the Women's Educational Equity Act, and the Early Childhood Education Act. As a result of her leadership, she left a legacy that will benefit for women and children for years to come. Females today still benefit from the law that was made more than 40 years ago. They cannot be refused from a school because of their gender. They won't be judged on their sex. If women apply for a job, they won't be denied because they are female. Young children today still have the funding to go to preschool. Patty Mink was a leader for women and children in Hawaii, as well as those throughout the United States of America. Patsy Takimoto Ming was born on Pa'ia, Maui on December 6, 1927. As a third generation Japanese American woman, she believed sexism was wrong and worked towards getting the equal treatment of females. Patsy Ming authored and introduced the Title IX law. She wanted to help other females because she was treated fairly in her education. When Ming was on the Maui High School basketball team, she couldn't play full court because the school believed it was too difficult for females. From that negative experience, she was inspired to become the first female student council president at Maui High School. And by her senior year, she became the school's first female valedictorian. After she went to Maui High School, she went to the University of Hawaii, University of Chicago, and University of Nebraska-Lincoln. After graduating from the University of Hawaii, she applied for medical school, but got rejected more than a dozen times. She believed it was due to gender discrimination. Gender discrimination is a belief that people should be treated differently due to their sex or gender. These people believe one sex is more superior than the other. In many situations, Meek found herself and other women not being treated fairly. Because of her life experiences, Ming made it possible for girls to benefit from the same opportunities as boys throughout the, their education, including sports. The definition of Title IX in the Encyclopedia Britannica says, No person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, excluding from participating in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any educational activities or activities receiving federal financial assistance. This means that there will be no one in the whole United States of America can be judged or denied the educational opportunities based upon their gender. Because of her life experience, Patsy Me made it possible for girls to benefit from the same opportunities as boys throughout their education, including sports. Ming introduced the Early Childhood Education Act. This law was passed by the United States Congress in 1968. The Early Childhood Education Act states that there will be funding to children's education for kids in preschool and kindergarten. In preschool, parents have to pay the full tuition for school, but this law allows these kids to go to school for a lower cost for those who qualify. Her legacy continues with the help of President Obama. President Obama is dedicated in supporting this. According to ed.gov, Early Childhood Education Act says that he was dedicated to help these children learn so that later in life they would be set in succeeding. Using Title IX as a platform, 
she created the Women's Educational Equity Act, also known as the WEEA. Passed by the United States Congress in 1974, WEEA provides support for Title IX and gender equality. According to NAPE, National Alliances for Partnership and Equity, Women's Educational Equity Act says that its main objective of the act is equity education, no suffering from discrimination or based on their gender, race, etc. The WEEA wants women to be treated the same way. The WEEA helped over 700 projects in the United States. Women today in the United States have more options and opportunities than they had before as a result of the efforts started by Patsy Mink. Women and children have more opportunities because of Patsy Mink. In 1985, there are more women lawyers and more women in management since 1972. In 1972, there was 1 out of 27 girls playing a sport, but now there are more than 2 out of 5 girls playing sports. When children go to a preschool, they are more prepared to go to elementary. Patsy Ming was a leader and a legend. She led women to have a better education. Boys and girls have now the same education. Boys don't have more learning than girls do, or the other way around. Patsy Ming was a leader and left a legacy. Today, I am affected by her legacy because I love sports. She made it possible for me to play a sport on a field against people. I plan to play soccer and basketball when I go to high school. Because of her legacy, I am able to go to a school without getting rejected because I was a female. In the future, I want to be able to go to a college.